You see these radios from Radio Master? They've been upgraded. This guy, the Zorro, I put in some awesome CNC EG01 gimbals and upgraded the sticks. I also upgraded the stick ends on my 16S version 2. Now, now there are a whole lot of pretty awesome upgrades you can get for either one of these radios, and they start at 15 bucks. Stay tuned. All right, so the first upgrade I wanna talk about are these gimbals. These are the AG-01 gimbals. Uh, they fit both the Zor or the TX-12, uh, if you have one of those. These are just really nice gimbals, right? They're aluminum, uh, hall sensor. Uh, they're just really nice. They feel better than the plastic gimbals. Uh, just really well machined, ball bearings. Everything on these gimbals are premium. Now they're gonna cost you about a hundred bucks and you can get these gimbals for either one of these radios. So if you wanna upgrade the gimbals on this guy, your 16S, V1, V2, you can, right? Um, I've talked about these gimbals before on the bigger radio, and now we have them available for the smaller one also. Now I can tell you these gimbals are really nice, but are they really an upgrade over the original? The answer is yes, but uh, I'm not so sure that it's something you need to do. Now the process isn't difficult, but it is tedious. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to do that here, and keep in mind, I made a couple of mistakes. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to do it right. But if you're not upgrading your gimbals and you don't wanna watch that, scrub ahead. You can see there's chapters down below if you wanna hear about some of the other upgrades coming from Radio Master. Okay, so step one, get the tools you need. You're gonna need some small screwdrivers and I really like having a little magnetic bin to hold all of these tiny little screws. You don't wanna lose one, uh, that could be bad. Now you do have some extra screws and uh, a spring uh, when you buy these gimbals, uh, but you can't just be, you can just never be too safe, right? So step one, remove the back plate. There's a bunch of little uh, Phillips screws, uh, put them somewhere safe, then, then take a picture, take a picture so you see what's happening. I also, I take a picture and I label all the wires, right? You can kind of see where they go. Uh, make sure you put them back in the right place. See these two little black screws? Leave those in. Uh, they're not necessary to take out. If you take them out, no big deal, but it'll make your life a little easier if you leave them in. I made that mistake. Don't make it too. So you're gonna um, remove all the plugs, right? Uh, disconnect them, and then you're going to take out the gimbals themselves, the old gimbals. There are four screws in the corners. Uh, pull them out, unplug if you haven't already, um, and then place the other gimbals in. Now, make sure you put them in correctly, right? There's like a metal bar. Make sure that metal bar is on the left-hand side. That's super important. Now, uh, they are self-centering, and you can go ahead and adjust the self-centering when uh, you put the back case on. Right, so four screws, get those gimbals in place, then uh, carefully reconnect everything, follow the process that you use to disconnect and uh, make sure that you're putting everything in the right place. Okay, then uh, go ahead and put the back plate on and adjust the tension uh, if you need to. Now, you probably don't need to because, you know, if you're left hand throttle like I am, that's how it was set, but I did mess with it a tiny, tiny bit and I found that it worked out pretty well. Really like these gimbals. Overall, the process isn't overly difficult. It is a little bit tedious, and I would say it took me, I would say, somewhere between 45 and 55 minutes to get it all done. Now, these stick ends here are their custom super grippy stick ends. They look kind of spiky, um, and I guess, actually, if you squeeze them, they don't really, they don't hurt, but it's like they absolutely stick to your fingers. Uh, they're really nice. Now, if you get the AG-01 gimbals, you get these stick ends um, in silver, uh, but there are various different color patterns you can do. I actually mixed and matched this one here, right? There are two pieces they just kind of screw in. So I have the purple and the silver. I think that looks really pretty darn sharp. On my V2 TX-16S, um, I went with the all purple combination here, and actually Chris is rocking the black ones. Um, just really nice. Now, if you're a thumber or a pincher, it's like these things glue to your fingers. Um, I was a little apprehensive because they just look so sharp, um, but they feel good on the fingers. 
um, and they just they just stick to them like glue. So nice little upgrade. Uh, these stick ends will cost you about 15 bucks and they're really high quality and super easy to install. You just kind of twist on or twist off. These are two pieces. The original stick ends on these radios are one. I take it back, the Zorro stick ends, they are two pieces also, but either way. So you can mix and match if you don't wanna go full stick end or you just want the top to be sticky. If you're a thumber, you could do that and mix and match with the black. Now radio also makes pretty solid cases for your radios. This here is the Zorro case and I'm a big fan. I really like how they designed this one. You can see there's plenty of room here uh, to put in your radio with a module on the back. All right, we've got a big antenna up here and a couple of spots for your extra batteries, right? Uh, these are the 18350s, is that right? Yeah, 18350s in the Zorro. And some people think that this isn't a large enough battery. So you know what? Pick up a couple extras, throw them in the case. Just really well designed, nice case for the Zorro. There are also cases for your 16S. This is the standard one. Um, now in the standard case, um, actually I don't like it uh, because this kind of sticks up a little bit. Now if you have the folding handle, it works really well. Uh, so I don't recommend the small case for the 16S, but I really kind of like the larger case anyway. If we look at the larger case, I think this thing is about $35. You got a spot here for both your remote and your goggles. If you fly whoops like I do, I mean, it's gonna fit in there just fine. And if you have the handle up, it still will fit. Um, so you can buy, so to work with either one of these radios. So yeah, Radio Master continues to impress with their radios. I love the Zorro. I love the TX-16 V2. The question is, which one am I gonna fly with? I don't know. They're both so good. I like them both. I'm going to use them both. I think I'm going to stick with the Zorro for my whoops and uh, my five inches and up. I'm going to use the 16S. But that's just me. What are you planning on doing? Which one do you like? Let me know in the comments down below. Are there accessories you'd like to see Radio Master come out with? Maybe a nicer neck strap. Uh, this here actually is from Beta FPV. I kind of like the design. I'd like to see Radio Master come up with something fun here. Uh, for these radios. We know we've got lots of customizable uh, face plates and things for the TX-12. How about the Zorro, right? Maybe some colored grips? Hmm? Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck everyone and happy flying.